Welcome to the support videos for BMC Workload Automation. This video will show you how to set up an SSH remote host using key authentication. Key authentication identifies the user by a cryptographic key instead of a password. The same key can be used for multiple users and hosts. The steps to set this up is to first generate a key unless you will use one you already generated the previous time then add that key to the authorized users file on the remote host and finally define the remote host and login details in control M. So here we are in the configuration manager and the first step was to set up a new key so let's right click the control server go to security SSH keys and this is a new system so there's absolutely no keys here yet so we'll add a new one give it a name give it a passphrase you'll need to remember this uh, otherwise you will lose the ability to use this key uh, next you need to specify the format of the key that depends on the SSH system you're connecting to the one I'm using this time is an open SSH system so I'll keep it like that and I'll select the key size and click Save so the key is now being generated might take a while sometimes it asks me to s uh, whether I want to save the public part of that key to my computer which I do because I'll need it so I'll click yes and I'll give it a .txt extension so I can easily open it okay so that's done the key is generated so let's have a look at what we got so there it is this is all on one line so next thing we'll need to do is uh, go to the system I'll which I want to add as a remote host and log on as the user I want control M to be using the key with in this case the user is rhdemo and this is my host and I'm already in a directory named dot ssh which is in the user's home directory I can show you if this directory doesn't already exist you can create it the permissions on that directory are very restrictive only the user is able to do anything and in this directory there's a file named authorized underscore keys and again the permissions on that need to be very restrictive otherwise OpenSSH will actually refuse to use it so you need to set it up like this I'll um, edit this file and simply add this key which is all on one line again to this file so I've got one line with that public key in it uh, final step add the remote host so back in the configuration manager we can right click the console and server again say new remote host now we'll need to give it the name of the remote host and um, we'll be using SSH to connect to this remote host, so click next. I need to define a new run as a user for this host because I didn't have any defined before. So rhdemo was the name of our user. And instead of using password authentication, I'm not going to use key authentication. This is a drop down which has all the keys you might have generated previously. In this case, I only had one, so this is it and I'll need to give it that passphrase again and now we can test the connection and it says the, uh, the user credentials are valid so that's it you click next finish and the remote host will be saved and control M will be using key authentication to log into that host whenever it wants to run a new job Thanks for watching this video. Check our YouTube channel for many more.